Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to another episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. This time, we're gonna do the non-metal record of 2017. But first things first, we're gonna be listening to the mighty John Carpenter Lost Themes. So fucking good. His uh, anthology, I think, was released today. But I uh, threw the B-side on, starts things off with uh, Mystery, Abyss, Wraith, Purgatory, and Night. Side A, Vortex, Obsidian, Fallen, and Domain. Awesome, awesome stuff from one of the masters of horror, both visually and especially when it comes to audio. The man is a fucking master of the synthesizer. I love this release, so fucking good. And, um, yeah. I was not going to do a non-metal album of the year, but as soon as I heard this record, I completely became obsessed with this band. It was pretty much all I would listen to when I go out riding my bike, and I still do. I love riding and throwing this on my headphones even though it's on like Spotify and it's like jumping all over the place and a lot of this band uh, like their influences come up and that's sick because this band's influences are all fucking amazing for the most part um, they did a little collaboration with King Dude but I'm talking about Drab Majesty the demonstration on uh, DS Records Holy fucking shit. I know I say that all the time, but first things for you guys, a little gift for um, being awesome. So press pause and uh, snag that if you want. Trust me, this is so fucking good. Totally worth it. Support at gotagroovrecords.com for technical assistance and... Yeah, just press pause, but yes, I have, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, then I kind of hinted at my love for Drab Majesty from Careless to especially the demonstration, and I just finally decided to fucking pull the trigger, and I could not be fucking happier with the, this release. Like, everything about it, from the Heaven's Gate inspired 39 by design, to just the fucking introduction track alone, this is just amazing. This could have came out 25, 30 years ago, and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Seriously, this is like some dream pop shit at times it goes into like shoegaze and then normally hangs out around just like some new wave territory and a lot of like this reminds me of like early cure records it's fucking brilliant and it's not just like you know oh it sounds like it's inspired by the cure it legitimately sounds better than the cure ever could sound like sorry but like this is just something of its own. I have never heard a band seriously dive into the 80s like this, but not make it the main focus like of their music or their image or anything like that. Like These guys are in a, a realm of their fucking own. These are some serious like lyrics like, from 30, like I said, 39 by Designs, pretty much based upon the Haley, the Hale Bob Comet incident with the uh, Heaven's Gate cult and stuff. And just some of the lyrics in here are like just haunting. Like, did they beam you up into the lights in the sky? If you could take a Polaroid of your life, would you cry? Would you make them stare into the whites of your eyes? eternal point of view and when he came to turn the hands of the hands on the sands of time and then you showed them how you felt it, it's so fucking good like you just wanted to die can't count your blessings saying goodbye 
Really just the roll of your dice when truth or lies will make you cry. And this ends with like a Heaven's Gate member sample that's like super fucking soothing and weird and like fucks with your like emotions because like this person really believed that you know they were gonna die and follow this UFO at the back end of a fucking comet. It's crazy. And then there's songs about heartbreak and just everything about this. But mostly the synth pop is just so strong, so well done. Seriously, like, I can't praise this record enough for seriously having this just perfect production. Amazing, amazing songwriting. Uh, I really like also how I purposely kind of kept myself in the dark about the uh, actual band members and I don't really know too much about them either and I kind of want to keep it that way for now because I really like having some mystery behind this project like when you watch their music videos they look like they're filmed all on VHS tapes it's, it's an amazing vibe that these that Drab Majesty bring to the fucking table Especially with their sophomore record here, The Demonstration. Like, Careless was great. Amazing, amazing album. But this, just, as soon as I heard it, I knew. I was like, yo, like, what the fuck is this? It's, it, this is everything about 80s, new wave, dream pop, and, like, shoegaze music that I like. All together on this just... 2017 release like are you fucking kidding me I, I i couldn't get over how good this was i mean careless was it's like i said it's it's brilliant it's amazing but this is a fucking huge step up especially with their they did a collab with uh king dude and this is just like wow like I was listening to a uh, youth code a couple days ago and like some of like their programming is just absolutely mind boggling and uh, they actually share a record label now I think uh, pretty sure D uh, Dias or however you pronounce this record label it's pretty new this is only uh, their 60th release but um yeah they definitely have uh, two youth code records on their uh, website and uh, that kind of brought to my attention as well. I was like, whoa, this record label is pretty badass. Like, when it comes to kind of electronic based music, even though there's vocals and like killer fucking guitar parts, and this is just a fucking complete work of art. Like, I, I can't even. From induction, Dot in the Sky is just, oh my god, it's the best 80s song. From 2017. Then 39 by Design, Not Just a Name, Half No Form. Then the B side just starts off with a fucking banger with Too Soon to Tell, Cold Souls, Kissing the Ground, and Behind the Wall. Now, what you really want to ex expect out of the demonstration by Drab Majesty is some icy cold synthesizers like this is not a happy album like yeah you could probably dance to it the sister of mercy influence as well fuck yeah like i definitely noticed it and loved it from the start like i said as soon as i heard this band i i just knew i was like yo this is my shit right here like there's no such thing as guilty pleasures like in my book I mean, unless you're, like, secretly listening to Papa Roach or, like, what's that band? Drowning Pool? Like, uh, fuck that shit. I mean, but this is amazing. Like, seriously, you don't need to be a fan of electronic music, metal, anything like that. This is just a great piece of music right here. Like, if you're a fan of, like I said, Sisters of Mercy, The Cure... New Order comes to mind, uh, so much, so many bands I could go through, like, that I hear on here, but just tons and tons of Sister of Mercy influence alongside of 
uh, New Order. And it just ends up with this just really dark and just awesome fucking sound. And it's great, seriously. Uh, the second album from Deb Demure featuring nine brand new tracks of dark and vibrant dream pop. For fans of The Cure, Felt, Sister of Mercy, My Bloody Valentine, Twins, and Depeche Mode. Produced by Josh Insto... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name, but from Telephone and Tel Aviv. But seriously, this sounds so fucking good. And... Like, from going, you know, listening to blast beats and inhuman, cavernous, fucking death metal vocals all year round. Like, picking up something like this, it's just something that, you know, it's a well-needed break sometimes. Like, you, you could say whatever, but sometimes, you ever get burned out of something? This is the perfect answer if you're ever feeling burned out on extreme music. Like, to me, this is just as extreme as, you know, some of the death metal and black metal doom records that came out this year. But in its own way. Like, if you put this next to whatever's on the radio, this is, like, fucking beyond heavy and just beyond fucking dark and stuff. Like, like I said, I mean, you have a song about the Heaven's Gate cult. And it's like one of the best songs on the fucking record. Drab Majesty is no joke. And when I first heard this as well, I was like, I wonder why this isn't on the radio. And I still ask myself that question every time I listen to this. Except now I can fucking spin it on vinyl format. And I couldn't be fucking happier. Seriously. This is just one of those projects that I am in love with. And when it comes to other non-metal albums of 2017, yeah, I didn't really listen to too many. And the ones I did listen to were fucking real good, but they came from, like, metal band, Well, bands that, like, used to be metal, but, like, you know, picked up an acoustic guitar and stuff, like... I love a lot of the projects that, like, the dudes from Neurosis do and stuff like that, like, and I also love, like, collaborations that Fool of Hell do with the body, like, you know, adding, like, you know, all this, like, harsh noise and electronics to, uh, their regular sonic attack, you know, it's great, like, it really harkens back to, you know, bands like Man is the Bastard and then shit like that power violence using electronics and all that and then power electronics in general bands like youth code but this right here is something on its own right now i there's no bands right now that sound like this like i've always been a fan of synth driven music from the first time i saw dawn of the dead goblin and stuff like that like it just stuck on my head i fell in love with it and then i remember when relapse record signed pittsburgh pennsylvania's two-piece zombie instrumental band i uh worked the show when i was working the relapse merch table and uh it was either get paid a couple dollars get some beers smoke or i could get a cd or a record whatever for free and I remember reading the description of uh, Zombie Cosmos, and I was like, yo, let me get that. And I just instantly fell in love with it. Got to see Zombie every time they came to Philly live, pretty much. And I just love when people use synthesizers right. And this is a just a prime example of using just kind of dated music, like uh, genres throwing them all together in this awesome blender of like 80s goth with like 80s dream pop shoegaze etc and coming out with something completely original sounding and amazing his voice oh my god so fucking good and just an amazing album drab majesty the demonstration a plus 10 out of 10 my non-metal record of the year and thanks for watching.
Males. 